Good morning, friends, and welcome to episode 27 of Looking at Stamps. Today, we continue looking at the Celebrate the Century stamp set, and today's decade is the 1950s. The sheet is subtitled Family Fun, Suburbia, and Nuclear Threats. New words for the decade are brainwashing, ballpoint, high rise, and centerfold. Now, let's look at the stamps. Polio peaks as 58,000 new cases are reported in 1952. The polio vaccine is developed by Dr. Jonas Salk and is federally approved in 1955. 50s fashion trends include sweaters, bobby socks, and saddle shoes for teenage girls and white t-shirts, jeans, and loafers for boys. The 1951 National League Championship is decided in the best of three series between the New York Giants and the Brooklyn Dodgers. In Game 3, the Giants win with a three-run homer in the bottom of the ninth inning. The U.S. successfully launches their first Earth satellite, the Explorer 1, on January the 31st, 1958. The U.S. and other United Nations forces fight in the Korean War from 1950 to 1953. Over 50,000 U.S. soldiers will lose their lives. The Cat in the Hat is written and illustrated by Dr. Seuss in 1957. Cars in the 1950s are big, bold, and shiny. Brown versus the Board of Education court case determines that separate but equal is not sufficient. The Supreme Court orders the integration of public schools. The leisure class is established and prosperity flourishes in the United States. People move to the suburbs and drive-in theaters become an attraction. The New York Yankees and the Brooklyn Dodgers will meet four times in the World Series in 52, 53, 55, and 56. The Dodgers will only win the 1955 battle. Film studios developed 3D movies to fight against the rise of television. Stock car racing flourishes when ordinary passenger cars get modified for racing. Rock and roll music hits the airwaves, much to the chagrin of parents and older adults. In 1951, between 1951 and 1957, I Love Lucy becomes one of the most popular television shows in TV history. Boxer Rocky Marciano holds the World Heavyweight title from September 1952 to April 1956. He is the only professional heavyweight champion to retire undefeated. And the background image illustrates the impact of television in America. By the end of the decade, over 44 million TV sets will be in American homes. And this is Scott number 3187. This is the 1950s decade of Celebrate the Century stamp set. And as a side note, with this decade, the topics for the stamps were chosen by ballot. 30 topics were presented and voted on. The top 15 topics were produced into these postage stamps. This system will continue for the remain, rain, remaining decades. Thank you very much and have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow with the 1960s, a great decade indeed.